Okay, so here we have a uh, early 90s, I don't know the exact year it is, hard to pinpoint these, uh, Tobias Classic 6 in zebra wood. Uh, the serial number is 2431. Uh, it's not pre-Gibson, but pretty close. Pre-Gibson would be anything below 2044, so that's why we're calling it early 90s. Uh, really, really cool early Tobias uh, classic base, though. I uh, gave this one a 7.5 out of 10. We'll call it good condition. Uh, it is all original. It comes with the original case as well. Um, it's got some scratches, some dings, uh, some wear on the back. It has some wear on the uh, hardware that you can see down there. Um, it's missing the little top part to one of the knobs. And then it's missing the top part to the back of um, one of the tuners. And then it has a little extra strap button hole on the... Uh, back of the base. We'll just go ahead and show that to you right now. Uh, you can see where that's the hole and then there's another one right there. Uh, this probably makes it a little bit more comfortable but if you wanted to put it there there is a hole for it right there. You could do that. Um, I'll give you some of the specs on this one. So the body on this is zebra wood. Uh, the weight is 10 pounds 14 ounces. It's got a uh, thinner neck on this one. I'll give you the caliper measurements. The nut width is 2.04 inches. It's right around two inches. Um, it's a six string. Uh, the depth of the first fret is 0.82 inches. And the uh, depth of the 12th fret is 0.94 inches on this one. The uh, string spacing on this one is 16.5 millimeters. Um, the fingerboard is paw ferro. The uh, pickups are uh, Bartolini, and then it also has the Bartolini preamp on this one. I think that about covers it for all the specs on this one, so let's get in there and check it out. Oh, the serial number on this one, by the way, normally they are on the uh, back of the head socks, but some of the earlier ones are um, in the control cavity. So if you're looking at the listing, um, we'll show you a picture where you can see the serial number that is inside the control cavity. Pretty cool, let's check it out. zebra wood looks pretty pretty awesome on this one if you're into that a little bit of wear going on right there and then this is where the just the top of the knob is is missing and that's pretty common on these and then here's our wear on the uh the hardware on this one it is an older base and definitely these tobiases were meant to be played so And overall the top looks pretty good though. And you can see there's a little bit of wear on these pickups. But everything works on this. The base plays great. I've gone through and set it up. Our Paul Ferro fingerboard looks really good on this one. Uh, the frets are perfect. There is no wear. And like I said, the base plays great. I've gone through and set it up. of the head sock looks really good on this one. Let's go ahead and flip this one over. Back of the head sock, you can see on that, uh, what is that, the A string? It's just missing the top of that. But the tuner is still fully functional, it's just missing the cap. Back of the head sock looks good, no cracks bricks, no repairs, none of that stuff. Back of the neck looks really good as well. And the back of the base. A little bit of wear kind of running around this area. light in there you can see that wear just in the clear coat though just lots of scratches little bees
Okay, let's get some flip back over. And there we have it on that one. It's our uh, early 90s Tobias Classic 6-string bass uh, Zebra Wood.